and try to make it as uh, brief as possible, but very, very valuable and insightful. Now, as shared with all of us in the field, that the purpose of this success series is to all first connect with global leaders, our, um, our partners council members, our top leaders, our global uh, power rankers, to be able to share real life experiences and strategies that has helped them succeed in the business. So we would have them you know, on this call every other Thursday on a weekly basis, sharing these strategies and real life experiences that you can be able to connect with, that you can be able to use and run with. Remember what our goal is for 2024. Growth, growth, growth. Those are the conversations we're having and we need all the support to, to be able to achieve that. And that's what corporates would like to um, provide in conjunction with our partners council. Who can't wait to see duplication happening in the market and so much leaders emerging. All right, so we're so excited. Um, on this call with me tonight is my colleague in business development, Neo Ntunyai. Neo, say hi. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you so much, Blessing. Welcome to everybody on the call. We are looking forward to a great um, presentation from our top leaders, like Blessing has already said. We are in collaboration with the field and we share the same mission and the vision, which is growth. Um, 2024 is the year that we look forward to growth and that can only happen with um, business development present, representing corporate working together with the field. So we're looking forward to having those one-on-ones. We spoke about them right at the beginning of the year and we cannot wait to implement and see the growth in the Africa region. Thank you so much, Blessing. Awesome, awesome. And it's such an amazing call this evening because I'm so excited, I'm so excited um, about all of the conversations we've been having this year from our Connect call to our product training from Barbara uh, Lofsey Cox last week. And today we are connecting with another um, team of leaders, our partner council members. This year is so exciting because we've sort of provided the structures such as this amazing leadership of men and women who come with wealth of experience, proven track records that are doing amazing things in their uh, teams and are available and willing to share the same strategies with the entire field to help us all duplicate and experience that growth. So if you see right there on the screen, we have our partner council members, um, in South Africa, um, we have with... on the call with us tonight. All right. <laughs> and also, we also have Nick Pappas, our partner council member in South Africa. He's also on the call with us tonight. We're so excited to have you, Nick. Um, also uh, spotlighted is Dr. Charles Eromosele, our partner council member in Nigeria. We're excited to have you on the call, sir. Uh, we've just lost Yolandi. I'm sure she would connect back soon. All right, more partner council members will connect um, with us. So while Yolandi, we're waiting please. for the partner council members to continue to connect, um, there are conversations. These uh, partner council members will form our panelists for this evening's conversation. But allow me to share with you just a few slides to kick start the conversations around um, seeking the right team um, members in order for you to be able to experience the kind of success and growth that you're looking forward to in 2024. Hello, Nia. Um, hi, Blessing. Hello, hello, hello. I'm hi, Nia. Hi, Nia. Um, can I jump away? Can can you st can I start, or do you want to add someone else? Yulandi's back. We can spot her. Yeah, Yulandi oh. is on. We can spot her. As yes, well. we can spotlight as many persons as possible. Yes, she's on. I think. Okay.
All right, so our conversations around this evening is picking the right team member as a success strategy for you to be able to achieve the kind of success um, you're looking forward to, um, the kind of growth you're looking forward to experiencing in 2024. And like I mentioned earlier, we have amazing, talented, and experienced uh, partner council in Africa who would be answering all of the questions that you have. And they would also be talking about um, this particular topic um, on a larger scale and sharing their real life experiences, what they have used, um, how it has worked for them. All right. So why do you need the right team member? Um, why do you need the right team member when you're seeking to experience um, growth and success? One, picking the right team, um, people to build an effective team is a huge responsibility. Um, if you see right there on the screen, it says together everyone achieves more because the people you choose to work with are the biggest factor that will determine how successful you turn out. All right. So the right team allows you to work smart, not just hard. You use less energy, you minimize time, and you're more efficient. I like this very quote from Ellen Keller, which says, alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. What are the amazing benefits apart from succeeding? They come with as a pool of resources. These are men and women with skills, ideas, experiences, knowledge in different fields. And so you pull all of these resources together and it helps to increase your overall efficiency. You're more productive. You also experience support and growth. I experience support and growth from Neil. I would not be able to do this all by myself. I remember when it was just myself and it was quite a burden having to do all of it by myself. But now I have a support team. We're motivated. There is, there's a range of ideas that is pulling together, all right? Um, and experiences and knowledge that um, Neil comes with. So that's amazing. And then we can be able to build lasting relationship. Now look at that guy in the middle. If he had to lift that up alone, it would take him so much time. But then with those two ladies right beside him, it makes the work less easier, you know, saves time and then success is guaranteed. All right. Now, what do we hope to start in Africa? Ladies and gentlemen, partners, we want to start what we call the word of mouth epidemic. And we cannot do it without having team to work with. We all need a team to support us and to help us um, in this journey. We've talked about what's a, an, a, an epidemic. It's a widespread occurrence. It's an outbreak. It spreads quickly. That's what I like about epidemic. Quickly, many individuals at the same time. That's what we want to start in Africa. Let's start an outbreak of partner co-products, creating a momentum where there is a rapid spread of our product and all things partner co. There is a sense of urgency, all right? There is a sense of urgency. Let's proactively take actions and these actions must be daily actions, teamwork and consistency, all right? Um, so the question I'd like to ask before we um, continue is, is your interest in partner co reflective in your daily dialogues? Your interest in partner co, is it reflective in your daily dialogues, in your conversations daily? Is your interest in partner co reflective in your daily dialogues? On your status, if you're using the social media pages, can people say that I know um, Neo is into partner co products, they have these amazing products because they've seen your post? because you've had the conversations with them, because your daily conversations it surrounds around partner co. So that's the question I want you to ask yourself if you're looking forward to experience growth in partner co in 2024. Your daily conversations and dialogue must be reflective of your interest in partner co. Daily actions, partners. And so the partner council will talk about a lot of things. But I'd like to focus on three people, key players that you would need in your team. Three key players, if you're going to be able to spread the word. We call them the Marvins, the connectors, and the salesmen. These are men 
women, a group of people with skills, knowledge, and personality that will help us to be able to spread the word and experience the kind of success that we want to see. The connectors, the Marvins, and the salesmen. So in all your getting, remember that we are inspiring others to transform their lives. So we're inspiring everybody everywhere, blessing everybody everywhere. But in order for you to experience growth, so there are customers that you reach out to. They're only interested in just um, what the product does for them health-wise. So it helps to be able to meet their health challenges. And they also love because it helps them meet their wellness goal. And also um, they love to take the product. So they take this product daily, you sell to them. But the customers are not the one that will help you duplicate. The customers are not the one that will help you build the kind of team that you want to. So in order to create this word of mouth epidemic and create this momentum that we need, we need team players. So think about these three kinds of people when you're looking for the right team. The connectors. These are people you see on your everyday life. Everybody knows the connector. You find them everywhere. All right? These connectors are sociable. They are gregarious. They are naturally skilled at making friends keeping in contact with friends and acquaintances. You know, there are those people that when you tell them about your project or about a challenge and they tell you, hey, I know someone who can help you. Oh, I know someone somewhere who would be interested in what you're offering. Oh, I know a group of people. They always have this contact of friends and acquaintances because they are intentional about making friends and increasing their circle of friendship. These people have a network of large uh, um, connections. We call them the social glue. They will help you spread the word. They will help you spread the message. Everybody knows a connector. I know someone I could reach out to and they would know who would be able to help me, who would be interested. And connectors are people that when you're having conversations with them, they can tell you 10 more people, 20 more people, 50 more people who will be interested in what you're offering. They will not only tell you, but they will give you the contacts of this person. Everybody knows that kind of person. These are connectors. Please seek them out as you build your team. And the Marvins, these are those who possess information and they seek to share it. We call them the information specialists. They are data banks. They provide messages, they are curious about information and other persons rely on them for information actually. So they are both students and teachers. You know, there's, there are people that if you need a certain information, they will say, oh, um, if anyone would know about this, I think um, Peter would know about this because Peter always have this um, bank of information that you can call from and then they acquire this information. They do not only keep it to themselves. They want to share. They are socially motivated. And then they also have the knowledge and the social skill to help you start this word of mouth epidemic. And then lastly, we have the salesmen. They love people. These are people who have skills to persuade us when we are unconvinced about what we are hearing. So they use their knowledge to engage and persuade. There are people skilled. I'm sure you know um, someone somewhere that is that kind of person. They are natural, natural persuaders. They are skilled at convincing people and they love to help people. And that's so much aligns with us because that's what we love to do. We love to help people in Patnaco. And the amazing thing about them also is that they are optimistic and positive thinkers. So as you know, the power of positive thinking will help you overcome so many things. Before we hand over the rest of the time to our partner council members, remember these three key players as you seek to um, build your team. Connectors, Marvins, and salespeople. Connectors, they know everyone. They have many social connections. They make friends easily. 
And then Mavins, those are people who will be curious about the product information, about the compensation plan, and they, be, they can become very useful to you in your team in trainings. And they also enjoy doing that, sharing information. They love what they do. And then there is this group of people called salespeople. These are skilled persuaders. They know how to persuade you. And you have friends like that, if you think about it, who know how to persuade you to buy something, to do something, to take action. So these are natural um, salespeople. And you already have them in your circle of friendship. But you can also start to seek them out to be able to build your team, the right um, team members for you to be able to expand, to grow, and to experience the kind of growth that you look forward to in 2024. I'd like to hand over the rest of the time to our amazing um, panelists, our partner council members in Africa. Now, the floor is open all the questions and they would be happy to ask those questions as they also take a few minutes to share with us their thoughts around um, seeking out the right team member. How important is that to growth? How has that helped you as, um, as leaders in Africa to be able to grow your team and experience the kind of success that you are currently experiencing? I'll start right there with you, Jimmy. I just love your smile. Henry, I love your smile. So I'll start with you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Blessing. Um, Neo, if I can just ask if we can just mute that one person, um, the Hawaii um, on there, that, or you can just make me co-host, co then I can just help you guys mute the other people. The sound, yeah. is quite, the sound is quite hectic. Please, thank you. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Henry Powell. I'm, I'm residing in Western Cape Stellenbosch area. Um, yes, I think at the end of the day, you know, ha having a community where you can slot in is so, so important. Um, you know, I've been in this business for four years now. And um, the one thing that I've learned, and I've been in multi-level um, multi marketing or social networking marketing, or, you know, there's so many things that we can call this business, but I've been in this for for 15 years already, and that's something I share with a lot of people, but very part-time. I am a full-time mom. I'm a full-time businesswoman. I'm a director of five different companies. Um, I really run a full-time job. So getting up in the morning, rushing, getting myself busy, going into my day, being a mom for two, two teenagers, writing matric this year, um, this is a sideline um, income for me but such an important sideline income. And with this income, I have the opportunities with all my other businesses to speak to people every single day, to tell them when they ask me, how do I do it? And how do I juggle to say, listen, I've got these amazing brand of products and I've got this amazing company that I'm with. Um, it's called Portnico and um, it's really building each other up. We're over you know, 60 countries in the, in the world. We're worldwide. You can build your business in any place. You can build your business um, with whoever you want, in your own time, whenever you want, how long you want. If you want to be serious about this and make serious money, you'll have to put in the serious effort like any other position and any other job that we don't like to call it out there. But if you want to do a sideline and get a little income, then it's also nice to put a little time in it. But unfortunately, you can't sit back and let everything fall in your lap. I literally speak to everyone every single person about my products. If someone tell me I'm tired, I'm like, oh my word, I need a, to give you a sample. And I always have a sample in my bag. If someone tells me, oh, I can't sleep at night, then I'm, I've got the solution. Maybe this might help for you. Maybe it might not, but you never know when you're going to hit someone that's loving your product so much until they decide to become a business partner. I would have never in my life, I promise you, I had 15 heart attacks and I put down the phone 27 times before I phoned Yulandi the first time and tell her about this business. Every time we spoke, I put it aside. And, um, you know, one day I just got all my courage together and I, I'm like, you know what, friend, I've got this amazing business. You need to try the products and you need to check it out. I need to introduce you to someone. And it took it, I think, four or three, I don't know even how long, three months to say, I'll get on a call with you. And you all know how successful this lady is in this business. She's a powerhouse worldwide. 
Um, so never underestimate the power of opening up your mouth and ask someone because the worst that can happen is a no. And um, it's nine out of 10 times never a no. It's always just a not now. And someone might just call you up in three months and say, things have changed in my life. My kids are now out of school. I have a little bit more time on my hands. Or you know what? I don't have the time for that now, but you know something happened with my husband's job and I would love to jump on board with you. Tell me a little bit more about this business that you are so excited with and that you've been sticking with for the past four years. So it's so important to seek out the people that you want in your business. But I always say, you never know you're like in a big city. Speak to any and everyone. Thank you so much, Hari. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Amazing. And Hari has shared with us amazing strategies. I hope you were taking notes because I took note of some things she's mentioned. Uh, open your mouth daily. You never know. Speak to everyone everywhere. You know, just take that courage and um, share with them these amazing opportunities. And make it your daily actions, daily dialogues with everyone. And from those conversations and just, you know, picking up the call and yeah, she has Yolande. So I'll let Yolande share with us how important is it seeking out, you know, the right team members? How has that helped you in your team um, so far? What do we need to do in order to get the right people into our team and experience growth? There she disappears. She'll be back now. We, before she comes back, blessing, I just quickly want to say something, Yola, before you jump on. If you are embarrassed about your products and your company, then you're at the wrong place. If you don't have the courage to speak to every single person about how amazing this company and products is, I, I need you to go look in the mirror again, make a conscious decision if this is for you. Because I promise you, I speak to CEOs about my products and about our company. So, yeah, that's just ending off, giving over to you, Ola. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you, Amri, Blessing, Nao, and my lovely other uh, partner council members, um, our Mr. Nick Papas and Dr. Charles. It's so amazing to share screen with all of you and to all the partners that's yeah, I see Anthony is on and um, I just love him. He's a firecracker in America and it's just amazing to connect with all of you. But it's exactly like what Amri said. You know, if you are shy about your business and you can't approach people, then you are 100% not where you're supposed to be. But... With that said, I was also the person that kept saying no, just like what Andre just explained to you. I kept saying to her, I'm a business owner. I run a huge marketing PR company. I've done it for 20 years. There's not a chance that I am going to invest my time and energy selling pills. That's, that was my perception. That is how I saw network marketing. And she kept asking me and I kept pushing it aside, kept asking me, kept pushing it aside. And the one day when my vision came to light and the aha moment and the light bulb went on, it was no turning back. And I'm very passionate about what I do. I, I really, I think I challenge blessing and nail on a daily basis because I am so precise about certain things, but it's because you operate with your heart. And we are here to not just help people to live a healthier life, but we are also here to help people live a wealthier life. And it's like what, what, what Anri said, you know, if if you do not work in your business hard every day, even if it's part-time or full-time, then it's not going to grow. And it's hard work. Being a business owner is extremely hard work because you get a lot of no's. You get a lot of rejections. You get a lot of people who's going to say your product is too expensive. You know, you, got, you have family and friends who's not going to believe in you. They are going to say, what do you know about selling that? You know, I'd rather go to a, a pharmacy and go buy pills off a shelf. And you know what? Yes, it affects a person because you're passionate about what you do. But don't let it get you down and don't let it, you know, stop you from what you're doing. I read a little post of Eric Worre in the beginning of the year and he said, 
I don't know if you all know him, but he is the guru in network marketing. He hosts the GoPro that myself, Henri, and Nick has attended a couple of times for four nights through the night with red eyes, and we loved it so much. But his post read that if you do not work in your business every single day as if you're going to get fired, quit. And let it resonate. Let it sink in. Take a moment and realize actually how important that is. This is not a joke company. This is the leading health and wellness company globally. We've won so many awards. We are going to take Africa, even if it's taking us another six months or an extra six months, but you need to understand once this fire is spreading like wildfire, there's going to be no return. No return. Work out your strategies. Work out what you want to achieve. Break it down into smaller sections and run with it. Say, I want to get two customers a day. For me to get two customers a day, I need to speak to 10 people. I don't need to persuade anyone because we're not in a convincing game. I'm going to grant you the opportunity I have. And just like what Blessing said, you've got your connectors, you've got your different people in your business. Identify that. When you work with your people, when you work with your new prospects, make sure that the why and the vision is out there so that you know what to expect from them. And it's, it, you know, it is very, very important that you as well instill it in you. And it's the same, you know, you've got Zoom calls like this, you've got prospect calls, you've got team calls, and you just see people making excuses. <laughs> they have no idea what a normal person goes through and maybe us as well on a daily basis trying to juggle. naya has got a beautiful family of five children, but she shows up, she's there. If you send her a message at 10 o'clock at night, she responds, she's there because it's her business. The same with us. So if you want to make this work, you need to make sure that you put in all the effort. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in your brand. You need to believe in the products and you need to plug into the people that you're going to learn from. I don't know everything and I'm learning every single day. That's why I'm fortunate that I've got a great team, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, um, Henri, Nick, everybody that is there that is working with us that you can feed from each other and that you can grow because if you don't bounce ideas, you're not going to grow. But if you don't open your mouth, your shop will be closed, your business won't grow. You can't just sit there as a spectator. You have to get out of your comfort zone and you have to do it. So that is it from me. You can achieve it. You can achieve anything you put your mind to. I know it. I believe in everyone. I know that everyone is different. But if you really want to make this work, if you're doing it for extra money, if you're doing it to build generational health, if you're doing it just to make pocket money or spending money, Work hard in your business because one morning you're going to wake up and you're going to see the money that came into your business and it's going to excel. So let that drive you, let you thrive in your business and let's spread love, health and wealth to everyone globally. Thank, Thank you, you everyone. so much. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you so very much. Wow. Wow. Did you draw some insights, valuable insight from that conversation, strategies that you can use to apply? Work at it daily. If this is what you're into, work at it daily, you know. Uh, amazing insights there. Thank you so much, Yolandi, for sharing with us. Nick Pappers, Nick Pappers. The man that shows up every time, everywhere, um, impacting and improving the field. So share with us some strategies that the field can run with, can duplicate, and have the right team to experience the kind of growth that you're looking forward to. Well, thank you, Blessing. Um, thank you, Nell. Um, guys, you know, network marketing is 
is a business of duplication. If you understand that, you will win in this business. You know, there's one thing that everybody on this call or watching the recording must always remember. If you're teachable, coachable, and trainable, and those that are around me often enough will hear me say it all the time. Those three things, teachable, coachable, and trainable. If you, if you understand that, you will succeed in this business. And why do I say that? Because we are all here in the same company. We have the same product. We have, we have, we have seven-figure earners. We have six-figure earners. And there's nothing stopping you being there. Absolutely nothing. The only difference is the person. Is the person. So if you say to yourself, yes, but I can't sell, that's not an excuse. Because that's the beauty of partnership marketing. Let's call it that. Because if you can't sell, there's somebody that can sell in your team. There's somebody that will do that work for you. Hence, we have the systems, the three-way calls, the one-on-ones, the two-on-ones, all these, the events, Zooms, home opportunity meetings or home, home parties, all that. The systems are there. Duplicate them. Duplicate them. Bounce off the leaders. The leaders will take you to where you want to be. If your why is strong enough, you will succeed. If your why is not strong enough, this business will never help you. I was in corporate for 25 years. 20, 25 years I was in corporate. And in 2013, um, our own soccer clubs as well, football clubs, one of my parents came to me and said to me, come with me to a meeting. And I went with him to a meeting. And that's where my network marketing career started. Because I, I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I left corporate and I went concentrated on the football field. Because I said, I want to live now. I want to live. And I found the business called network marketing. And I taught myself and I listened to the leaders. I showed up. I still show up. I still learn every single day. And I never, ever give up. You know, there's going to be days. Our business is full of no's. The more no's you get, the 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 more you know you're working hard because this business is a business about no. It's not for me. I don't have time. Not now. Uh, I'm too busy doing what I'm doing. People don't understand. So what is our aim? Our aim is momentum. Our aim is what you said, Blessing. Our aim now is operation epidemic. That's what we've got to do. And to create that epidemic, you need to be that lone dancer. Have you seen my video? The movie with the lone dancer that's dancing on his own there and then somebody else comes and he dances with him and then somebody else comes and joins that dance. Eventually the whole park is dancing there and what happens then? When everybody's dancing there, the, 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 the game changes because people say, I can't sit here. People are going to look at me and think I'm crazy. Let me also go and dance. That's what we've got to do in Africa. That's what we've got to do. We've got the continent as our oyster. Those that don't know, Africa is so big that every other continent in the world fits on our continent. Fits on our continent. What's the biggest success today in Partner Co? What countries are the biggest success? Spain, France, and Italy. Go look on the map how small they are. Go look on the map how small those three little countries are. And here they're leading. What's the difference between us and them? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, you know, there's nothing more for me to say. Yolandi, Andri, they've said it all. The, 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 the mic dropped with both of them. Me, all I'm saying here is um, teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work. And success loves speed. So... What we can never leave today, what you can do. Uh, never leave today, what you can do. Or, or how does that saying go? Never, never leave anything for for tomorrow, what you can do today. Because tomorrow's got other things that you have to do, right? Your attitude and not your aptitude will determine your altitude. Thank you, Blessing.
Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you. Amazing insights there. Thank you, Nick. What's stopping us in Africa? We've got everything that we need to succeed. We want to create that epidemic. So just imagine when you get on your socials and there is a post from Nick, there's a post from Neo, there's a post from Sarah, from Leonie. We're having the same conversations around Partner Co. Everyone is talking about Partner Co. It's an amazing product. We can do it. It starts with everyone on the score. It starts with you, 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 and you. Daily action, daily actions, daily conversations. Thank you, Nick. Neil. Hi, Blessing. <laughs> yes, please. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, wow. Amazing, amazing, amazing information that we've heard from our South Africa Partner Council members. Um, I just want to um, speak again on what Andrew spoke about. She mentioned that this business, she's doing the business part time. And that just gives you, if you are sitting here in this call, an idea that you might be overwhelmed because you are thinking that you need to give the business your 100%. No, it starts from your why. Why are you here? What is it that you want to achieve? Do, is your why um, a kind of why that, that allows you to commit full-time and be a full-time brand partner? Or is your why um, giving you the opportunity to only come in as a part-time? We have the opportunity for whichever way that you want to go. You can come in as a part-time brand partner. You can come in as a customer who wants to buy products. You can come in as just a standard brand partner who's going to go out and focus on selling the products and not building. And we've got the bigger picture, which is where we want to encourage each and everyone on the call to go for, which is growing and building your future generation, building the world rather for your future generation where you are now talking about residual income. But we've got all those avenues that are available for you. You can come in and shop, and be a customer, you can come in and be a brand partner who's only focusing on selling to customers where your only focus is retail commission. And you can come in and build that world for your future generations to come. So I'm super excited and I can't wait to hear the rest of our African leaders as they give us more insight and those um, tools for us to become better brand partners and make sure that we work together into building this pandemic that Blessing has spoke about. Africa, we are going to go out there with the word of mouth by speaking about the product that we love, by speaking about the company that we love and we have seen so much success from it and make sure that this becomes a pandemic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Neil. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, that's, my, that's my partner there. She shared with you valuable insights what we expect from you in Africa, what we're looking forward to, and the many ways that you can become partners with us. No, 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 you don't have to be a brand partner, but it would be amazing if you're a brand partner. That way Absolutely. we can duplicate. You can be um, you know, a customer. I was talking to some group of leaders that we had um strategic meeting with uh, in Lagos here, and they said, someone said, you know, I've got hundreds of customers. They just want to be drinkers. So there is that group of people. Um, they would always be there. But then we're asking in order to duplicate and seek out more brand partners. So um, Dr. Charles Aroma Selling. Now, this is the leader that I have worked with over uh, the year and months. And I can tell you that he's one person that has duplicated um, leaders. I've been on the call today with um, so many of his leaders across Nigeria today. Dr. Charles, can you share with the field, what is your secret to duplicating and having all of these leaders in strategic positions across um, the country? They've emerged as leaders. They are successful in partner co business. What is your secret in order for us to be able to also get team members like this that can be able to help us achieve the kind of growth and um, success that we want to see. Now I'm speaking on behalf of the field, yes. 
Awesome. Amazing. I'm truly excited to be here. Um, really lovely to hear from amazing leaders that are really setting the pace for what we call today Partner Co. One of the biggest things that everybody is looking for is a story. Um, and you must, first of all, become a very good storyteller. Uh, nobody's really interested as much about what you're presenting as much as they are interested at, about what, how it has affected your own life. So um, you must help them understand the numbers in terms of the future. Everybody lost money. I'm yet to find one person that doesn't love money. So if you can build your story around the money, you know, so when I, this, okay, this is my secret. When I talk about partner co, I don't just talk about it like one new business that just happened. I would, you, in every statement I will always make, I will always make sure they understand that this is in 65 countries. I even tell them it's actually more. 65 was yesterday. Nobody knows how many countries are getting on board. So the truth of matter, you need to become a very good storyteller because people are tired of the usual. In business, we call it going towards the blue ocean strategy. Fine systems um um yeah i think that's the what's the word be a good storyteller and then there's um in 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 biology there's something they call pheromones um when you speak to two people um or when you speak to people rather you are either speaking from your own place of conviction and confidence or you're speaking oh, oh sorry let me turn it like this i always like to be very um i always like to explain so everybody gets to understand don't speak with your stomach speak with your head now people that speak with their stomach are people that only see today they're trying to beg people to come into the business now if you beg people to come into the business you are going to have to give yourself the hard work to pull them day in day out those are people that are driven by motivation they are not driven by the a vision of the business um, so you don't want people, um, I, I let, normally tell people, don't get dragged along. No, get people that when you look at how they are running, you want to run along with them. I just, I caught something from when Jimmy was talking, um, yeah, uh, where Jimmy was talking about uh, Yolanda. I, 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 ne I never knew, I'm just knowing for the first time, you know, that's an upline. So just imagine, imagine Jimmy can just go to sleep knowing that she has a powerhouse like, 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 like Yolanda. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So what am I trying to say? Find leaders that are even better than yourself. It makes the work far easier for you. You know, if you look at within your team, you discover that people you are having challenge with are people you try to beg to come in. And so because you beg them to come in, you are going to have to motivate. Only weak leaders run by motivation. Real leaders run by strategy. So please don't think with your stomach. Think with your head. Don't beat for today. Beat for tomorrow. Uh, I, I, as I was just reading leaders talk, I read like that. Say, small-minded people bid for today. Strategic leaders bid for tomorrow. Another very important thing you need to understand: if you are not bidding for tomorrow, please build strategic relationships. Um, uh, I was in one of the Apex office in, in the in Lagos yesterday. Um, when I say Apex, one of the let me just say maybe the number number three office in the in the city. Well, well dressed, you know, suited and everything. And I was there for something else that had to do with business. But I found a way to find the dialogue or conversation to drive the conversation back to a period where maybe um, it's going to be possible for us to maybe hang out, maybe um, in the reception of a hotel tomorrow where I can discuss, oh, okay, oh, this is what you saw in my life or what you saw me wear or something. This is where it's coming from. But why is strategic relationship beautiful? Um, a lot of times, strategic relationship goes beyond even your team. Strategic relations are so important where tomorrow I can have to call Blessing and say, okay, Blessing, I met this very top person that can open the door for us in Nigeria. So you see what I'm saying? So uh, uh, in, in, let me break it down so you understand. When I say strategic relationship, don't just find down lines. Find power people. Power people have enough influence in a nation. They have enough influence in a place. They have enough influence in a particular jurisdiction or social capital that when they say yes, they mean their yes. Power people don't just come to a business by themselves. They bring their entire power force into the team. So that's one of the most important things you should do. One of the reasons why businesses grow very weak, especially MLM business, that we are always fond of just finding individuals that are, you know, the, 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 you know they don't really... Um, 
they don't really understand power. So when you tell them about a business like this, you know, they, they are always like struggling about if you're very frank, let me let's do a very quick analogy here. You describe most of the people that give you the hardest time in business a lot of times are people that don't even have money enough to even afford the business. They keep telling you about how things were not good yesterday. In short, they, they bug you with how things were not good about yesterday. And in their mind, they are already prepared for the fact that this may not be that best one. So let me just try it because you said so. I don't want those kind of people in my business. So sometimes I deliberately create entropy within my team so that those that are not really running with vision, they should just go or just relax. I, I, I never tell any leader bye-bye. One thing I've noticed recently, leaders that I just led to, you know, I don't disturb you. If you say you, want, you don't want to do the business now, just so fine, please make sure you try and come back because this is a good business. But what, I, what do I do? I keep on sending them the back office, sending them where they are on the tree. Remember, you're on the top of the ladder. See what, the, see what five people under you are doing. And that becomes a motivating factor for them. And sometimes they just keep watching until they see that they just, this one just slided a message to my DM um, about, I think a month ago and said he's ready for the business now. And I was excited. And then, and I'm sorry, I'm thinking, oh, wow, I, I, I thought this was my call. Uh, I better just put a full stop here. Let me just say one more thing that's very important. Please find the right motivations daily. You are that you are going to be attacked with a lot of negativity from the field. Sometimes you're going to look at your business. It was powerful in November. Why is it not powerful in December? So if you don't carry enough motivation, you are never going to have what is good enough to give your team. Your team, are going to, they are going to feed out of the faith that you bring into the business. They are going to feed out of the motivation you are bringing into your business. So it's very important that as a leader, you must be the highest motivative factor, having the highest motivational spirit. If not, at the end of the day, your team is not going to catch um, catch on with that. Um, so uh, I think I'll just um, pause for here. Um, okay, yeah, the, the last thing I would say, which is all close to what Yolanda said, I think, is learn to inject the business into your business life. A lot of time we try to inject the business into our side income life. And because it's side income, it is optional. But when you bring it, your business life is what feeds, what puts food on the table, is what puts the salary in your pocket. If you're if you're a salary person, if you're a business person, what put the, the profit in your business? If you, I noticed that recently, and this is I'm talking about my own self um, because I noticed that uh, I had several you know streams of income. I was not now feeding you know my partner co business the way I should, and I noticed that that was a, an error. So what I do right now is that. Anything I'm doing, as far as my consulting business or whatever I'm doing, I always have a trace of partner co in it. If I have to get, get a bottle into a meeting, I'll just do that. I'm sorry I took that long. Let me just stop here. Thank you very much, Madam Blessing. Thank you so much, Dr. Charles. Thank you for sharing with us um, valuable insight um, that we can run with and duplicate. Now, these are the kind of conversations that we will be having every Thursday with leaders um, sharing real life experiences that has worked for them and that we too can apply to be able to give us the kind of growth that we want to see. Inject your partner co-business into your everyday life. Let's create an epidemic. Do partner co every day. Speak partner co everywhere you go to. Have those conversations. So it's a little pain from your um, um, partner council pain, or it's your title advancement, or you know, something about partner co that starts up the dialogue, you know. And then there are people everywhere with problems. And do you know that we have solutions? It's either problems around their health, you know. Um, like uh, Erwin mentioned at the beginning, someone says, I'm stressed out. You've got the solution, you know, that you can help the person with, share the products with them. Someone says, hey, I, you know, I wish I had another side also or multiple streams of income to be able to meet my bills. You have the solution for them, you know. So prefer that solution in every conversation that you, you have. Thank you, everyone, for getting on this call. We're excited for 2024. Let's create an epidemic. I'll be looking out for all of your posts everywhere, the conversations online. 
but also take them offline. Take them offline too. There are a lot of influencers, people that have powerhouse like Dr. Charles P. They come with 10 of them, 20 of them. Those are connectors in their social circle. They've got people, they know people and people listen to them. The same thing with the Marvins. People listen to the Marvins because they have the information about the products, opportunities, get them in your team. Don't forget the salesmen, great persuaders. They can help to convince those that are still sitting on the bench, all right? So get them also in your team. We're excited for 2024. We look forward to seeing you on the next call on Monday and, when, and Thursdays. Mondays and Thursdays on a weekly basis going forward. We're excited. Neil and I look forward to seeing you. So bye everyone, have a beautiful evening. Bye bye everyone, it was amazing. Bye everyone, thank you so much you. for joining. Thank you, amazing. Thank Not amazing. everyone. Thank Neo, thank bye you. everyone. Thank bye. you. Thanks everyone, good night. Thank you everyone. Good night. Good night.